Hi everybody, this is a bit of a bits and pieces video really. Um, I watched um, Darren Funky Pepper's uh, his video earlier this morning when I got up and um, <coughs> he was doing a, a shout out video for Andy from Doberman Knives. Andy's not um, a lot of uh, good fortune just recently, I think he's injured his finger. Uh, he's got an, an internet connection problem. Um, and Funky Pepper just asks other knife makers to put up a video um, in support of Andy uh, to say that um, at the moment he currently has no internet or he has uh, intermittent internet and in this day and age uh, running a business without internet is uh, difficult to say the least so if anyone's got any knife builds or any uh, business with Andy uh, just um, give the guy some chance to sort of get himself sorted out. Uh, I've met Andy, he's a thoroughly nice chap. Um, I don't think there'll be any problems or any issues. You'll get what you're gonna get, what, what you've paid for, or whatever he's you know, you've ordered with him. I'm sure he'll deliver that in time. But if you could just give him that uh, bit of time at the moment, I think he needs. Um, if you watch this, Andy, I wish you all the very best. I, I know you've, uh, you've got a dodgy knee and you hurt your finger. I uh, really um, feel uh, a lot of empathy for you mate, I know you're uh, a really nice guy, I've met you at the Bushcraft Show and I've exchanged uh, emails and telephone calls with you and I wish you all the very best. If there's anything that I can do um, to help you out this end just let me know. Um, I'm even thinking I might auction uh, one of my knives at some point to, uh, to help you out maybe. Um, my bandsaw has been playing up, but I managed to get it sorted now. I, I've got the adjustments spot on with it. I've got new bandsaw blades, so things ready and sweet. Um, it's cutting like a dream. I'm just going to um, cut the scales for uh, Steve uh, Gold's knife. He sent me. Um, a block of, uh, wood, of olive wood. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's wet at the moment Steve. Um, it needs a lot more drying out. In fact I'll just cut this piece and then you can see. Definitely uh, still a bit damp in there, so I cut the uh, I cut some scales out of this. They've been cut oversized, so if they warp or whatever, I can grind them back a bit. Um, and we'll let them dry out for uh, a while longer if that's okay, uh, Steve. I I don't want them shrinking on the knife, uh, so uh, sorry about that. But uh, it's going to delay the build a little bit. I'm sure uh, you don't mind you have a knife with a stable handle. Got some finished knives. A uh, knife I uh, showed in my um, video uh, the other day of uh, profiling the handles has been finished. I uh, finished the sheath for it. There you go. It's just a uh, white hand, uh, it will be a dangler carry sheath. But with the option of the belt as well, of course. Come out really nicely. There you go. I finished the uh, the wood off. Nice tapered tangs, tang rather. No uh, no liners on this one, just plain. And this is Corby bolts. Um, I'm really pleased with how that's come out. There you can see I'm getting that polished up really nice. And uh, pins are all flush with the wood, which is what I like. There you go, hit that nice logo stamped in. And the finish, beautiful knife. Very happy with the uh, level of knife making I'm at now. Uh, another couple of knives finished. 
Eugene's been waiting a little bit for this um, Mini. I finally finished the, uh, the Mini. I slight, slight redesign on the sheaf. Um, they've got to have quite a deep... Um, they sit quite deep in the sheaves because that's what gives them their retention. So you're going to have to use uh, a lanyard to make extraction a bit easier. Uh, so Eugene, I finished yours. That's going to go um, into the post today for you. Hopefully you'll get it next week. Uh, you'll be wanting a wisp next, I know. And uh, Tommy, I finished off your um, mini as well. Uh, another right hand belt carry. The wood on this was a bit more highly figured. It's only, I only had a small piece of this wood. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but you did request a dark wood, and it's a it's a beautiful wood. Um, yeah, you can see it a bit better there. It's really come out nice. I'm very happy with that. Very happy. Uh, the only issue with it is that the wood had a little crack where the the grain was coming round here. You can barely see it. Uh, I don't even know if the camera's picking it up. But I filled the crack with epoxy. Yeah, you can just see it there. Just there. I filled it with epoxy. Uh, and I don't think it would be any problem. Um, but of course, if that's not what you want, then obviously... I'll build another one up for you, but I won't be able to fit wood with such a good figure to it as that because I've, that's the only piece I have with that lovely figure. And you can see that I've, I've done the tang nice and polished. Same on the inside as well. And I fitted the mosaic pins. And you see the hand rub flats again, look. And the logo. Beautiful little knife. I really do. I really do like the minis. Uh, they fit in the hand nice. Just a general lovely little knife. So that's uh, going to be yours Tommy. And as I say you, you'd want to put a lanyard on to make extraction easier. Uh, hope you like that. Just looking for the, for the order book to see uh, who's next on the list for one. Well Steve Garland. Gold you're right at the front but as we say your scales have got to dry. Uh, Gary, his uh, email begins with Little John. Uh, you're up next. Uh, Hung Du, um, you're going to have yours built. Kelly, uh, you're, uh, I've already spoke to you via email, so yours hopefully uh, will be completed later this week or early next week. Uh, Kyle, Sparky Tanky, Spark Tanky, your uh, your builds around the corner. Sean Hawkins, uh, spoken to you, Sean. Uh, sourcing the desert ironwood. Hopefully, uh, my local supplier will have some for me. Morton. Um, uh, yours. Uh, also, around the corner, Harry Tamil's coming up, Charlie Thompson, I know I've got um, Charavang Zhang, he's waited a while, yours will be on right around the corner as well, Charavang, in the next uh, two or three weeks, all being well. So I'm getting through the orders, still got quite a lot to go. Uh, when I got to the end of the order book, which I anticipate to be September-ish time, then I'm going to take orders at 10 at a time um, and build knives to sell from the website. Hopefully I'll be having a few knives to sell from the website uh, between now and then. Uh, I'm building a batch of minis as well, uh, taking some knives to the knife show, uh, which is the end of June in the Cotswolds in, in England. Uh, so if anyone can make it there, wants a knife from me, you might be able to uh, buy one direct uh, at the end of June. Uh, but it's all go. Um, Mandy making good recovery. She's had a, on a second plaster cast now on her ankle. 
she's got to keep that one on for six weeks, goes back to the hospital, uh, and then they change it again for another plaster cast for another six weeks, so she's got 12 more weeks in plaster. Um, but despite having to do extra there, uh, I'm really uh, cracking on in the workshop as well, so um, it's not holding me back that much. Okay guys and gals, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this has updated a few of you and uh, doing all I can to get them orders out to you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.